three and a half inches this way, three and a quarter this way. Here's how it compares to a typical credit card. There's no magnet, it's all plastic. Flips open, clips shut. On the inside, it's a, it's a little soft, but not squishy. It's like it's rubberized. And you can see the different strengths. This is ND8, ND16, ND32. Each of them are labeled on the side, so you won't get them mixed up. You could also tell because one would be darker than the other. They attach easily to the lens. There's no screw, there's no threading. Just squeeze them on. There it is with the DJI cage. If it's on, it won't go inside the cage. You'll have to take it off first. Put it in the cage. Then put the filter on. Testing out the, our, uh, the Action 4 to see how what the, what the best exposure I can get. So this is gonna be with auto. And I have this set of ND filters I'm gonna try in a little bit. So this is auto setting right now. The camera does its own thing. And I'm also screen recording on the, the MIMO app. And the MIMO app has some features that expand the capability of the camera, such as histogram. It doesn't have false color and all that, but I guess if you need false color, you want to use false color, you might as well get a proper camera. All right, but this looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. This looks really good. And it's exposing for the entire the, the background, so my face, because I'm, my back is to the, the sun, you can't really see my face. So I'm going to try different scenarios here. So this one's first with the light at my back. So the, the environment looks fantastic, but you can't see anything. All right. Then I'll try it with the sun forward. And so now, that's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I get closer. It's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. Not too bad. All right. All right, so this is with ND8, and this histogram looks real good. It looks real good. And this is with the sun in front. That looks real good. And then let me try it with the sun at my back to see how that looks. Yeah, the sky is blown out. Sky is blown out for sure. So now ND16 is on here. That says a little bit overexposed. All right. And then I'll switch to log. All right. So now I'm in log mode. Camera is swinging a little bit. I'm in log mode. And I'm getting an overexposure warning as expected. But with log, you, uh, there's supposed to be some latitude or some uh, ro more room for error with overexposed areas because it's supposed to be a flat, a flat profile, right? So it's, it's not gonna look as rich as, as normal mode or auto mode, but that's what it looks like in log and I'll, I'll obviously color grade this or put on the DJI LUT at the very least. All right, and this is what it looks like in log and I'll put the color grade at some point. This is what it looks like in log with the sun in front and it says here a little bit overexposed a little bit but that's the lowest iso i can get i think one over 100 is the lowest iso on here nd32 the good thing is it's also written right on the filter so you won't get confused you can also see which one's darker all right so that's what nd32 looks like in log and i'll color grade this separately right that's not too bad. It says underexposed. Let's try it with the sun behind me. And now it just says that the, I'm getting an overexposure alert for the sun and right where the reflection is on the water. All right, so that's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. All right, and so for the last demonstration, I will use the ND filters in, in auto mode. All right, so now the ND32 is on here. 
in auto mode oh god it's cold and I don't see any way to tell to, to know how what the the parameters are and the shutter speed and so on doesn't say anywhere on here maybe on the back of the camera I mean it still looks good still looks real good the back of the camera it does not say no it does not say all right so let me switch let me first put it here with this sun in front all right so that's the sun in front all right so that's what it looks like with the strongest ND filter all right let me drop it down to ND8 all right so now ND8 is on here and that's what it looks like now, since it's cutting less light I imagine that the shutter speed or ISO or something would have been adjusted so faster shutter speed or the lowest possible ISO on here that's with the sun behind me it still looks good let's try it this way with the sun in front that does that looks good that's good all right I guess the summary here is if you just want to go quick to get quick good footage just leave it in auto leave it in auto you don't have to color grade nothing it looks fantastic and I have this in 4k by the way it looks fantastic if you want anything better than this just use a an actual camera a proper camera a big camera this is a good camera by the way so let me not say a proper camera but you know what I mean a dedicated camera and if you want to have more flexibility I guess you could use D log and all that are the ND filters necessary no nah, they're not the camera will make the adjustment for it 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 will it absolutely will would I use these in um, for what I'm using it for maybe if I'm recording myself yes I probably would if I'm at a nice scene I just want to carry a, a small camera without lugging a, a Sony around I would probably carry this probably carry this now the problem is if I'm in the shadow and I try to raise the exposure of my face it's gonna be garbage unless I use log footage so if I were to shoot my face I would probably do it like this so half of my face is lit kind of like this and I think that's pretty good I think that's pretty good all right